Howdy folks, Buddy52 here with you. If you follow my channel, you'll know that I did a stage one on my motorcycle, and I wanted to do some more. Didn't know if I wanted to do stage two, stage three, or stage four. So what I did is I just changed the head pipe. Let's see how she does. <laughs> oh yeah! Well, this is the first ride with my new Vance and Hines Power Dual head pipe. And if you're new to the channel, let me just quickly brief you on what I have done to my motorcycle. And then let's talk about my first impressions of what I have done. This is my 2018 Ultra Limited. goes by the name of Big Mama. Over the past couple months, I have completed a stage one on her. Uh, she is two years old, out of warranty, by the way. I know a lot of folks will ask that. And uh, have Vance and Hines Eliminator 400s as uh, slip-ons. And had those for a while, and then went ahead and finished the stage one. I actually put a uh, Screaming Eagle air cleaner on, which I like the look of that and the performance so far. And, of course, I put an FP3 Vance & Hines tuner on the motorcycle. And that was the Stage 1 completion. And I gotta tell you, you could really feel the difference in the motorcycle. And I've contemplated doing a Stage 2, I've contemplated doing a Stage 3, and just realize how really expensive it is. And how far did I want to go? I'm an average guy that tours. Not doing any real long rides. You know, no three or four thousand mile rides. Just touring with my bride. Uh, probably put on five or six thousand miles uh, a year on her. And um, just really wanted something a little bit more. I rode with some buddies a couple months back and, and uh, you know, it's just a little more power, which is what I wanted. Um, so I decided what's next, right? So, you know, a year or so ago, I had a, a private mechanic that was doing some work on the bike until I really started doing it myself tell me, you know, at the end of the day, you got to get the cat out of it. So you can get all that airflow, you'll get, the, the performance difference will be amazing. So I've always thought about that conversation, and as I started to decide on the next stages, uh, there's another guy that has, has done some work for me, and I had a conversation with, with him, and he said, Bodine 52, because that's what he calls me. Don't spend all that money, man. For how you ride and what you do, you just need to change the head pipe out. So finally I decided that's what I'm going to do. So I ordered the power duels. And, uh, and I, I've talked to a lot of folks about uh, doing it. And I know everybody said, oh, they're easy to put on. Well, reality is this guy charged me a couple hundred bucks to put them on. So I went ahead and let him do that. I ordered the pipes. And uh, voila, here I am. And I've got to tell you that my initial reactions, uh, I've been on Big Mama here for about 40 miles, is, oh my God, I had no idea how restrictive a cat makes it. As a matter of fact, here's a picture, I'm going to put a picture right up here of my uh, catalytic converter in my stock Ultra Limited uh, head pipe. Check it out. You wonder how anything can get through that, right? So before I did it, I will tell you that 
that there was a couple concerns. At, at first, it was obviously the warranty. You want to be careful of the warranty issues because you don't want to screw that up, right? And once that was done, uh, my next concern was, hey, is this really going to give me the additional performance that I want? Two, is it is it affordable? Because I already spent a lot of money just to do a stage one, which really at the end of the day wasn't that bad. Probably just a little bit over a grand doing the work myself, right? Uh, in parts. And um, old guy just out taking a nice leisurely ride. It's a beautiful time of year here in Michigan. But I, I really didn't want to spend that much money doing the other stage kits, thus this. So um, I will tell you that my initial reaction, you kind of saw me taking off there. I did a couple drive-bys, and I'll, uh, I'll show those to you as well. Um, but, man, it, the first thing that comes out is the motorcycle seems so much cooler. I mean, just from having my leg down here, I'm sure Mrs. Bodine, when she gets on it, will feel a difference. Um, and you know what? I have not gotten the motorcycle tuned. So I can't specifically talk to you about torque or horsepower ad, but I am going to tell you from a regular guy how I feel it is. So right away, you could definitely tell that the bike is cooler. The other thing I was a little concerned, uh, quite frankly, about the noise. I love a Harley Rumble. I also have a, uh, a 2000 Road King Classic with a Stage 1 on it. It's got the good old rumble to it for sure. And I was a little concerned that this may be too loud. I do live in a neighborhood. and want to make sure that I can hear Mrs. Bodine when she's on the bike. And I'll tell you what, I don't feel that way at all. Even when I'm getting on it, you know, you can definitely tell that there is a there's a difference, a deeper sound as your uh, than than I had before I had it on there and had all that that lack of air movement. I guess I should th say through the exhaust, but I'll tell you what the the sound of it really um, is actually much much better than I thought. I like it even more than just having the slip-ons, and it's nowhere as near as loud as I was worried about, um, which is just fantastic. By the way, do you have roundabouts where you live? I used to live in this town, and I was on a planning commission before they put this roundabout here, and this road here is actually owned by the state of Michigan. And... Uh, they made the decision to do it. Nobody wanted to do it, but at the end of the day, it saves lives, so. But I got to tell you what, there is no doubt, and the real reason I bought this was just the added power and torque. Again, I'm not a mechanic. I have not gotten this uh, dyno tuned. I did retune the FP3 before I left today because it was tuned to the stock head pipe. So if you were thinking that, that is all done. And I'll tell you what, it feels amazing. It is running sweet. And, and it, I, I can't believe I'm going to say this. When you get on it in first and second gear, the front end definitely feels light. Now... Would I say that you're going to get the front tire airborne? I, well, I don't surely don't think so. But I will tell you what, there is no doubt you can feel the front end up a little bit. <laughs> it is amazing. It is amazing, folks. Uh, I am so excited about getting this done. I was excited with the stage one and to really do this and get this type of performance so far the sound and the the less heat I can I am in this first ride just totally delighted with this and super super excited 
if you are riding a motorcycle that doesn't have any stage kits on it and they're Harleys, and there is nothing wrong with keeping a, a motorcycle stock. As a matter of fact, I'm going to do a video upcoming about that. But if you're thinking about doing some stage kits to get more performance on your motorcycle, you definitely got to start with the Stage 1 with Harley. You don't have to do it with Harley if you're outside your warranty. Remember, if you start playing around and putting tuners and that on it and you're still in warranty, you have uh, you have uh, voided your warranty. So don't do that. Wow. Just wow. Oh, <laughs> yes! <laughs> but I'll tell you what. Do that stage one. And by the way, you can do that yourself. And go get this head pipe. This is a Power Duels Vance and Hines. So the total exhaust is all Vance and Hines. The uh, FP3 tuner, which I keep on the motorcycle, is a uh, Vance and Hines. And then I do have a Screaming Eagle um, air cleaner. I'll tell you what. I would strongly urge you to look at this option after you've done the stage one. At the end of the day, I think I paid about 550 bucks for the um, head pipe and a couple hundred bucks to put it in. So maybe I was in at 750 ish. And uh, great investment as far as I'm concerned. And you know what? Maybe I'll think of doing some more. I know there's a cam kit. I know there's a stage three, stage four. But right now, as the motorcycle sits and rides like this, I have no interest in doing anything more to this M8 motor. The only thing I'll consider doing to this uh, motorcycle next is maybe suspension. I know I'm getting a lot of uh, suggestions on that. But quite frankly, the suspension feels good to me, at least right now. And maybe if I ride another motorcycle that has it on, I'll, I'll reconsider. But I know it's uh, it can be pricey for the suspension, a couple thousand bucks plus. Um, but I got to tell you what, this is amazing. I love it. I'll show you a little bit more of the drive-bys uh, coming to and driving away from them. But uh, I, I will tell you, I am super, super pleased and would strongly suggest and recommend that you consider doing this. Hope this video helped. I will leave a link to the head pipe that I purchased. Make sure it is right for your motorcycle. As a matter of fact, I have uh, links to all of my YouTube gear that I use to make these videos for you, as well as everything that I've done to the motorcycle. So if you see something on the motorcycle, I know a buddy just sent me a note saying, hey, can you tell me about that full motor again, which is a Zero 3D. I swear by this thing. Um, those links are always in the description of every video just to make it easy for you to go to. And I wouldn't put them there if I didn't love them. So thanks, folks, for checking in, coming around, uh, a ride with me on my voyage with, uh, with the new head pipe. I'm so happy with what I've done to this bike so far. And I uh, appreciate you coming along for the ride. And all the advice and feedback you've given me is always appreciated. So... That is it for Bodine 52. Thanks for checking in. I appreciate you spending a little time of your day watching me babble on. And uh, be safe out there and call a friend. Thanks, folks. Bye-bye.